it does block Wi-Fi signals, so it will reflect as well. You know what I mean? And I will show you another funny hack in a bit. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday and our day another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is well I will show you how to boost your Wi-Fi with freaking tinfoil so let's get it. But before we get started love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet sweet video. Now it sounds absolutely crazy when I heard it the first time guys built weird contraptions with tinfoil and they claimed it will actually booster, Wi-Fi reception and signal, whatever. So I tried it and it actually works. Probably only to a certain degree, but I have proof that it actually works. And I will get to that in a second. But first, let me explain my setup and also why I need to boost my Wi-Fi. Okay, so here is the router, the office router. It's fairly standard and it's, you know, flat coverage. But down these stairs, pretty much exactly, Right underneath this floor is the studio and I need Wi-Fi in the studio freaking badly. That's also the place where I train weightlifting and stuff and it actually works even without the tinfoil but I tried you know to boost it and stuff because even though it works it's like it's not really awesome. So let's make it awesome. So I took this tinfoil and wrapped the antennas pretty much like so and when I... <laughs> went down the next time it turned out that there was no well there was reception but there was no internet and then i realized that the tinfoil is actually blocking the signal from this other router so that is actually the proof that this tinfoil works it does block wi-fi signals so it will reflect as well you know what i mean the signal from the flat got blocked or reflected this means all the waves that would go upwards will get reflected downwards so uh, that's the theory why it works but the thing is as you saw i had to remove it a bit so that the signal comes through and that i actually have internet down in the studio because the ac600 is currently configured to repeat the signal it gets the signal from the router and then repeats the signal down to the studio everything over wi-fi and that's why i got myself another cable another long enough cable i have a few of them but they aren't sufficiently long so i will connect this to the router and to the ac600 and then i will cover the antennas with tinfoil again and then we will check the situation so i will see you in a bit Okay, so the cable is connected. I also did sleeve the cable, as always. It looks so nice. I love it. And I also already changed the settings from a repeater to a LAN bridge. Uh, for some reason, I had a difficult time to connect to this thing. When I tried this 10th time, it worked. So, and now, as I said, I will enclose these antennas fully. Just like that. I don't know if it's bad if there are ripples like that, probably, but who cares. Let's close it up. And here we go down in the studio and I will show you another funny hack in a bit. So I just did a few speed tests. In this area, right by the door, I get around 6 Mbits. I did get around 12 Mbits right here, but when I tried it the second time, I only got like 5. So this area is the best area, then this area is pretty good as well. This area is actually the worst, like this corner. I got like 0.2, something like that. But the most important part is definitely this bench, because I'm spending most of my rest time on this bench, of course. So another thing that I saw was a tinfoil plate. And this, of course, will also reflect the, the waves. Well, first of all, I get around 0. Point something Mbit. So I thought, hey, I need, I need a, another reflector for my phone. So this is just cardboard and tinfoil. It usually sits around here or there and then I put my phone on this thing and it gives me 1.5 mbit so this is actually like what the hell this is pretty cool I tried putting tinfoil inside my phone cover but then my NFC tag would not work because these arrays get blocked as well frequencies whatever so yeah this is how you can boost your wi-fi with tinfoil don't expect something crazy but it's it's giving you a slight edge. So wrapping the router with foil or the antennas and also a tinfoil plate to place your phone on it. Yeah, and this setup finally enables me to watch videos while I'm training, which is, I need that. Now I have access to motivational videos, awesome music, stuff like that, so this is awesome. So all in all, it's definitely worth a try. It's also funny to experiment, but yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I'm smashing just a bit more 
Wi-Fi signal in my phone. <laughs> bang, bang, like crap. To never miss the DIY vlogs, check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>